Hello friends, welcome back. You must have heard about 7 C's of business letter, right? Yes, you already have heard and that's what we are going to discuss once again. I am Professor Jigar Joshi from Department of English and Commercial Communication, JG College of Commerce, Ahmedabad. Friends, in the first semester of BCom, you already have been taught which are the 7 C's. So this actually is not the new thing, but then when you add the point of business letters, it might change a bit, though many of the things remain the same. Actually, all those seven C's remain the same. You may remember all the seven C's. Let's carry on with them. The first one is correctness. By correctness, we mean that the data that you provide in the business letter should be correct. The data like numbers, figures, date and everything should be specific and clear. Moreover, when we talk about correct, correctness, we also talk about correctness in the usage of sentences, words, punctuation, grammar and much more. You will have to be correct with them because it might create confusion. Lack of correctness might create miscommunication as well because there is a difference between the words T-A-S-T-E taste and T-E-S-T-E taste. There is difference. So if you use the word taste instead of test, it may create the difference and you understand them, right? That means when you write a business letter, be very careful with the words and also with the sentences and grammar, all right? Because these things matter the most. If you use incorrect grammar or incorrect words or incorrect sentences, it might prove you careless as well. We don't want to be proved careless as business writers, right? For that, you will have to be very correct when you write your business letter. The next in line is clarity. What do we mean by the clarity? By the word clarity in a business letter, we mean the clarity of thought and clarity of expression. Your letter should be very well planned. Every detail should be mentioned very clearly. One should be very careful when they put the words. What I mean by this is they will have to be very, very careful with the arrangement of words. Because words here and there, lines here and there, idea here and there might confuse the reader. If it is not in sequence, if it is not arranged well, that is what I mean is if your letter is not arranged well, if the words in the letter are not arranged well, that might confuse the reader. One should also avoid words like words that have double meanings, right? Pun should be avoided, jokes should be avoided, plus ambiguity should be avoided, jargons should be avoided. Jargon means some technical words they should be avoided in a business letter because your receiver might not know those jargons and they might misunderstand the letter, right? To have this clarity in the letter, it is advised to keep one idea in one sentence only and keep those sentences short because if you try to prolong the sentence, it might confuse your reader. Your reader may not be able to understand and comprehend entire sentence together. So, it is advisable that you keep your letter, sorry, your sentences as short as possible. That's it. Brevity is the soul of wit, said Shakespeare. A business letter should be as short as possible. The content should be to the point because too long a letter will not only bore the reader, but it will waste the time, time from your side and time from the reader's side. It will also waste money and energy, right? So why should we write such a long letter? When we want to write a letter, we are not writing an essay. We are not writing a poem as well. That means it should not be too short. It should not be too long. It should be mediocre somewhere. It should be of a length which is pleasant to both the reader and the sender. 
This will save the money, the energy and the time. All right. So one should mention all the data in the letter very concisely. They have to choose the words very wisely. For that, you can avoid the repetitions. It might happen that if you have not planned your letter, you will end up repeating so many things again and again. So you should avoid that repetition to have conciseness in the letter. But when we talk about conciseness, it does not mean at all that you keep that brevity and that conciseness in the letter at the cost of courtesy and at the cost of correctness and the completeness. You should not miss out on data. You should not hide the data. You should keep in mind that your data is quite important. Don't miss out and keep in giving the data. But be very concise. Be to the point. Give them every detail in as short as possible. That would help you to write an effective letter. The next in queue is completeness. Now, because you are not going to meet your reader face to face, it is very important that you write the letter completely. The completeness of the letter would bring the desired response. And if you miss out on completeness, it may not get you the desired response. Now, incompleteness in the letter would bring the waste of time, waste of money and waste of energy. More than that, it will lengthen the correspondence. Because if you miss out on writing something in a letter, you might want to put something more. That is to say, you might want to write one more letter to clarify what you have missed out in the last one. Now, this will lengthen the correspondence. It will take more time for the response. It will also waste your money and energy. Why would you like to do that? Instead of that, you should better keep completeness in your letter. By completeness, we mean that we should give all the data that is required. If you are answering and, and, and query from someone, you should be very careful. You should keep that letter, that inquiry letter with you and then answer the query so that you do not miss out on any of the queries. Plus, if you are writing uh, an inquiry letter, you should keep each and every point noted down with you so that you do not miss out on them. Because missing out a point means one more letter. And again, waste of money, time and energy. Why would we choose that? The next in line is consideration. Now, when you write a letter, you have to walk in the shoes of your readers. That is to say, you will have to think of the point of views of your reader as well. The reader or receivers or the client's point of view should be kept in mind when you write a letter. Now, readers' interest and benefits and their comfort zone should also be kept in mind because it is by these things that you will enter into the vein of your reader and you will, you will attract them. This you attitude is very important in a business letter. It will prove you more courteous. But again, you will have to balance between too much of you and too much of I. Because too much of I would prove you egoistic and annoying. And on the other hand, too much use of you would prove you submissive and annoying. Why would you like to be such a person? Why don't we keep some important notice about consideration, considering, considering their point of views, considering their interests, it will prove us more courteous, as I said. Concreteness is the next one. A concreteness, we mean to be specific and definite rather than vague and general in writing the letter. One should avoid using vague and general words like some and many and a lot and small, etc. Like one should be specific, one should be definite in producing the data. Now, all the needs of the client should be catered enough attention in a letter. You should not miss out on any of the data because it will lose the concreteness of entire letter. Now, the letter must be a coherent one from the body of the letter to the content. By this, I mean the appearance of the letter should be solid one. And so should be the content. Content should not miss out on any of the important data, while the appearance of the letter must not be awkward and weird. 
because that will not bring good impressions over your reader, right? That means everything should be coherent, everything in the letter should be concrete. By this word everything, I mean the appearance and the content of the letter. Courtesy is the last in the list. A courteous letter may or may not strike a wonderful business deal, but it will definitely strike wonderful business relationships. Isn't that? Courtesy will earn you the goodwill to your firm. Usage of words like thank you, I request you, appreciate, I apologize. These are the words will prove you very courteous and very polite towards the reader. Courtesy in a business letter means to have some warmth and kindness for the reader. Courteousness in the letter will earn you a wonderful relationships with your readers. So that's it my friends in the seven C's. Now all these seven C's may help you to get good marks when you write a short note. Plus when you are writing the letter for 17 marks, you will have to keep all these seven things in mind, all seven C's in mind because they will earn you good marks in the letter part as well, right? So these seven C's are not only important for the exam's point of view, but in life as well. When, when you are into your practical life, when you have to write a practical letter to your clients or to your business firms, you will have to keep all these seven things in your mind. Because the seven C's will help you to write a very, very effective letter. So from my side, that's it for today. Thank you so much.